funny coming back and uh, and just remembering running around the field, rugby, cricket, and athletics, and what have you, and how the place has changed. I mean, yourself, you're you're younger looking without the tash now. Oh, all right. I mean, I know it's been gone a while, but I mean, that thing that thing had its own license. Oh, life lived on its own. It did. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Natural desire, determination, will to win, wanted to win, wanted to play in the team, all the things that were there. Speed. Speed then, you had two. Oh. Wasn't just that enormous set of lungs for the middle distance. You could shift a bit. <laughs> Especially down, downhill with the wind. <laughs> Watching you, you progress, you know, from, from Kingston and then the Irish and, and, and ultimate the Lions, which is any, anyone who's got any interest in rugby, that is the ultimate achievement. Well, it was actually uh, another old tiff that uh, I went down to watch at Kingston, Aidan Hassagy. Do you remember him? Uh, yes, yeah. I went yeah. down to watch him play at Kingston and I don't think he turned up, so they were one short to I played. You got a game. And that was it. That, 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 that was it. I guess you must have been about 16, 17 when he first came down here, so that would be oh, late, late 80s, 88, 89 maybe, uh, it's probably, something, something like that. It's probably, yeah, 89 I think. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, playing down here was great, it gave me grounding and, and actually taught me how to play the game initially. Well, basics. Yeah, yeah. Learned, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it's nice to see that uh, those, those traditions and that fun is still going on yeah. now. Oh, you can't have the coach kicking people though. <laughs> Illegal. Why not? No, I'm sorry. Well, no, fantastic memories of being down here. I mean, obviously, you, you know yourself, we had a great Colts team. We beat mm. Irish, Wasps, Quins. Oh, absolutely. We, um, yeah. I mean, we had some standout we, players as well. And for, a, for a, a small club, you know, this is still a small club, but even it was even smaller then, of course. Yeah. Uh, you know, meant nothing, really. And, and, and the bigger clubs like Irish and, and Isha and Wasps, they didn't like it. And for me, ranks up there with the with the rest of the clubs I played with. So yeah, it's nice um, to hear. It's always the uh, it's nice always the first club that comes out of my lips when anyone asks who I played for. A lot of dedication to actually put yourself in a position to be picked in a alliance squad. You have the weight of uh, your peers, your friends, your family. Obviously, the four nations on your shoulders, and it's a question of trying to dilute that as much as possible and just focus on the the, the game in hand and, and treat it almost as if it is another match. Body on fire and head in the fridge, as uh, my old coach used to say. You're in there quickly. <laughs> the next man's in to play the to, to play the ball out, and you're in with a chance. And it's just those those little bits. Is that that fun? It's it's just the ultimate in playing rugby. Eight hundred people played for the Lions. So what number were you? Five years. Uh, I think uh, seven hundred and something. <laughs> seven hundred and one, I think. No, but uh, <laughs> no, you're lucky. But, but one of the band. One of the band. <laughs> <laughs>